question of the day from Roderick. How do you let go of fear and just trust your dreams? In other words, how do you become the creator of your life instead of just being the manager of your life? Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, how do you let go of fear? I don't know if you ever let go of fear entirely. Uh, I think fear is necessary for you to be alive. I think you're really only not feeling fear if you're doing something you're totally comfortable with. And if you're doing something you're totally comfortable with, you're not really growing, are you? So fear is a sign that you're pushing the envelope. It's okay to feel fear. It's okay to feel fear. There's that book called like, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. So if you're not feeling fear, you're probably doing something you're totally comfortable with. So don't expect fear to go away and don't think if you're feeling fear then you're doing something wrong. But you don't want constant chronic fear all the time for sure. A little, do a little bit of something, relax. Do a little bit of something, relax. Do a little bit of something, relax. And that is how you become the creator of your life rather than the manager as you say. Same thing, it's like you do a little bit of work or a lot of work and then you relax. You gotta have that balance between creating something new and then managing what you've already got. Creating something new and managing what you've already got. Creating something new, managing what you've already got. So I'm here, here I am creating this video. After I upload this video, I'm gonna have to manage the comments, I'm gonna have to manage the channel, I'm gonna have to manage some emails that come in as a result of this. I'm gonna have to just manage what I have as a result of this creation. So I think you're always doing both. There's nothing wrong with managing. Managing is important. If, if your life wasn't managed at all, you weren't organized at all, you were just creating all the time, it'd be one big mess. So imagine if your city right now no longer had the garbage van, no longer had the police, no longer had the ambulances, there was no, there was no um, city municipal center for, you know, people to vote or whatever, There's, there was no management structure. Things would fall apart quite quickly, I think. Management in your life is important. So start creating things by deciding what you want. And if you're unsure of what you want, then you probably know what you don't want. So at least get clear on that. Once you're clear on that, flip it to the opposite. So if you're saying, I don't want to be poor, I don't want to be fat, I don't want to be alone, then you write, I want to be rich, I want to be fit, and I want to have the partner of my dreams. See how that works? You find what you don't want, it's really easy to do. And then you mark down the opposite. And then, instead of putting any more attention, any more focus on what you don't want, you turn it all and you put it on what you do want. So. It's important to acknowledge what you don't want, sure. It's important to acknowledge, hey, the gas is low in my car. But you don't stare at the low gas meter until you crash your car. No, you, you acknowledge you're low on gas and you look up and you find a solution. You're like, all right, gas, 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 gas. You're looking for gas station, you're looking for a gas station. Solution oriented, solution focused, that's how you gotta be. And that's how you start creating things in your life that you want, that you want. Because you're always creating things. People are like, oh, I manifested this the other day. Oh, I manifested that. I think what they're trying to say is they deliberately manifested that. There's a big difference because you're constantly manifesting things. You're manifesting things every single second, like now, 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 now. Everything that comes into your reality, you're manifesting. You're manifesting this video right now. You're manifesting the word I'm saying right now. You're, you're going to manifest the word I say next. You're always manifesting, we're always manifesting. Humans, we are creators. It's important to be a deliberate creator though if you really want to enjoy this time here on planet Earth. And you can create what you want by being a deliberate creator, by knowing exactly what you want and then focusing upon it and feeling as if you already have it now. Feeling as if you already have it now. And feeling appreciative, appreciative of what you've already got now as well. So if you want, better relationships, appreciate the ones you have now. Because if you can't learn to appreciate the relationships you have now, you won't even appreciate the ones you have in the future. Appreciate the house you have now, appreciate the car you have now, the clothes you have now. Because if you don't learn to appreciate what you've got now, even once you get something better, it won't feel that much better because you haven't learned the art of appreciation. So that's how you go ahead and create things. And practical tip would be take pen to paper and write down a list of 25 things you want to be, do, and have. And then 
find people who are, already have those things or who are doing those things or find images of those things online at least so you have a visual representation of those things and then just start working towards them by doing the most exciting thing first I only do the most exciting things each day I only do the most exciting things each day a lot of people call me I don't pick up the phone because I'm not excited to pick up the phone the next day they call me same person I'm excited to pick up the phone I'll, I'll call them no, I have a phone for my convenience, not other people's convenience. So if someone calls you and you don't want to answer, don't answer if you don't want. Pick up when you feel like picking up. Go to the store and buy the fruit when you feel like going to buy the fruit. Not because you think, oh, I should go buy the fruit now, blah, blah, blah. Do what's most exciting. The universe will reward you in many ways. If you're doing what's exciting, then every act you take is enjoyable. I could have made this video earlier today. I didn't want to, though. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to make this video. And if I'd forced myself to, it wouldn't have flowed as nicely, I wouldn't have felt as good about it. You guys would have seen a video got uploaded. Oh, Ted uploaded a video. But, as soon as you start watching it, you would have felt, ah, the energy's just not there, because he's probably doing it because he feels he has to, rather than doing it because he really wants to. What's up, man? How are you? What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport? That's a good question. Uh, I like skateboarding. Yeah, like, what, like, what's your favorite sport with the ball? Uh, well, I used to play soccer a lot, I like that. Let's go! Nice, bro. Cool shirt. You like that shirt? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Have a good one. You, you watch YouTube? What? You watch YouTube? Who do you watch on YouTube? Um, Jake Paul, Logan Paul. Oh, you watch Jake and Logan? Are you recording a YouTube one? Yeah. Peace! Peace. Let's go! Hey, do you know what this word says right there? Can you read that? Vegan. Vegan. Do you know what that is? No. Oh, vegan? Yeah. What does that, what does that say? For the animals. For the plant. For, for you. you. And what's this one? Love animals, don't eat them. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Do you guys like dogs and cats? Yeah. yeah. I used to have them, but they ran away and they got stolen. Oh, yeah. your dog and cat got stolen? My, well, dog, my, my, my cat. dog died. Your dog died? Yeah. Were you sad? Yeah. What's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is Fruit Living. Fruit Living? Yeah. Oh, I've never been on If you guys, If you guys like uh, animals, then uh, maybe you want to look into veganism. If you guys like animals, veganism is You're gonna yeah. post this on YouTube, right? Yeah, this will be up like tomorrow probably. Okay. Peace. Peace. Never know what's gonna happen. Stuff like that, man. That's the universe right there, you know? That's the universe right there. <laughs> this is real, man. This is real life. Alright. Peace out. Have a good one. And enjoy the rest of your day or evening.